uh, Hinton Bombs is. Yes. Next door to us is Stone House there. He built that house out of that. He hauled the stone, stone from Ellicott City. Tore it, tore it down doing the uh, WPA work. Okay. And he tore it down and built that house, and he built the one up there where it was a school teacher. You know where the uh, Tommy. Thompson? Eleanor Thompson? No, Tommy. Uh, yeah, Tommy. Yigman? No. <laughs> Brown? No. no. Tommy uh, Merson lives. Oh, no, but you I know, know the Patsy, rest. Patsy Merson. Oh, it's a stone house right this side of it. Okay. He left it to this, he married a school teacher and left it to her, and she... And he actually hauled the stone from the yeah, old, old school. Sp old school house. And then, stories, and then the Strombergs built a house back in right, this yeah, area. That's right. Is that where the school was? That's Just right. about where their that's house right. is? Right. The house sits back in. And it, that's it, that's it, okay, so it. the back of it was frame. I, I oh. thought the back of it was frame. See, this, this is you stone. You can see the stone see, foundation. Yeah. Yes, on that. that. Was stone, I think it was stone. Right. I do have a slide of that, but I just didn't have room in, in the book for everything. No. <laughs> and I'm going to do another one maybe in a few years, and I'll try to include more pictures in there. I, um, I noticed when they built the post office, they only set in there about the Hill Center property. Right, and I want you to talk to me about some of that in here. That wasn't the Hill Center, that was a part of the Hill Center property, right. but the rest of it was the... Right, I've got the picture here. Uh, and uh, let me um, let you look at it and tell me um, what you remember. Now, this is what was torn down when the post office, right? Now, which one was Hillsingers? This was Hillsingers. On the very uh, end. And the Hillsinger here. This was a stable. Okay. What we call a stable was it had a stable for horses underneath. And this belonged to my brother, Jim Moxley. Uh-huh. And did he run it as a gas station? He run it. Uh, he rented it out as a gas station in a little store, and he had an automobile repair shop in the back. See, so this went all the way through to Hamilton Street. Okay, it was uh, across the river. Was no, no, no not no. across the river, right? But it was very deep. See, th this this corner place here belonged to to uh, trying to hit it. Now, Steve Hillsinger owned this property. Mm, but Hillsinger used the corner place too. Or not? He, that was his home. Oh. He used this as for a funeral home. Right, the second building. And it was another little house you can't see here. Rick sat here, took took that whole block in. The, uh, for for the post office. Post office. Yes. Um, I wanted to um. As I brought some of these things that I, I wanted to ask I, you about. I can. I can, uh, This this all belonged to Jim Gaither. The. At one time. Okay, this what your brother bought. What my brother uh -huh. bought. And this little house, I don't know who owned that the little house that, that he bought from that. that. It was sold at a mortgage sale in 1910 in Pop Okay. Or Jim bought Okay, I wanted to ask you about this building. Do you have any idea what that was or where that was? Was it back of the post office? See, this here's some a building off here. Um, Mr. Mr. Hilsing was it Hilsinger? No, Mrs. Mrs. Higginbotham had some of these pictures. And um, that looks like back there on, on Mercer Street where he used stores. Higginbotham used it as a on Hamilton Street? On, uh, or Forest? One goes back across from Court Avenue. Merriman? No. That looks like that old building back there. Do you think it was torn down? It looks like it's being torn down here. What, for the post office? Would it have had to have been torn down? No, it would have near the post office. That's one of me. Who give you this? That's from uh, Mrs. Higginbotham. Had a number of negatives that were in her that her husband had done. I think he, he rebuilt that, that building 
and use it as a first fam, family, I mean as a, a horse, no, horse and all the cars. Back on Merriman. Or I think it's back on Merriman okay. Street. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's back on Merriman Street. Okay. Wanted you to see what you could remember about some of these well, that, things. That is that that is the old Hill Center property. What, this is West Hill Center, and this is Steve Hill Center. Okay. They were, were both. Were they in the business together? No. Uh, Steve Hill Center was an undertaker. Right. And what was West? I don't know what West did. But he, West and Helsinger lived in the corner the house. Corner house, yeah. And then Steve, did they live above it, the Helsinger? They, they, they lived in it, and they had, they had a little place right underneath the, where they put their horses. See. On Hamilton Street. Mm -hmm. see, see set, Hamilton. Yeah. Hamilton went around like this That's in right. back this of these buildings. And the forest is over here. Forest Street comes out over by um, Mellow Shovel Edge. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, but it's it's another house, a garage, and uh, I won't tell you about that. There's a little house in there my brother bought, mm -hmm. and they bought that when the government bought it. They bought the whole block. For the post office. For the post office. And next to it was where that garage is now. That was a... You mean where uh, Reedy Electric is? Reedy, Reedy Electric. Uh -huh. Now that was a... Uh, years ago it belonged to Ed Reedy. I mean Ed Lasher. Had a store there. And, and Bob Taylor come down and bought that property. Okay. Um, and... What, what? At the fire station, do you remember what was there before it was built? There was a blacksmith oh, yeah. shop. Is there was a blacksmith shop. Okay, let me write it down now. All right. And a uh, grocery store. Okay. Were they frame buildings? No, it wasn't in the same buildings. Two buildings. Two buildings. Okay. Uh, the, the the blacksmith shop only had a little building in the back. The grocery store set out on the street. Okay. Who ran the grocery? Uh, do you know? I was sitting there trying to think of on that grocery. I'll think of it. Okay, that's cool. fine. And so the grocery store was torn down, or it was. That's, I think the grocery store burned, burned. down. Okay. The streetcar bought it. Okay. After it burned down and run the streetcar in there, then they, that uh, when they built the the fire station, it was practically all of the. Would I tell you who owned that property? Don't you have a who owned the property? Uh, the blacksmith shop? Uh, Was it Talbot? No. Let's not. see, wait a minute. Opie. No, not Opie. Opie. Ma Mackison. Mackison? Mackison. That's right. That's who. They had the, the blacksmith shop. Okay. That's who owned that. And they sold it to the fire department. Mrs. Mackison. They sold it to the fire department, and the fire department uh, got where the store was, and, and up by where they parked the cars, where the streetcar used to go. Okay. Do you remember that, the, uh, let's see, there's, let's see if I can get that picture. Um, this is an aerial view before Fells Lane was torn down. Now, do you remember when there was a, a, a dwelling house? Was it Kirkwood's here on the corner? A what? Kirkwood's. Do Kirkwood's own a house here on the corner of Fells Lane and Main Street? See, here's the fire department. Here's Fells Not Lane. Not in my time. Did they, uh, Mackerson's owned that house. Did they own that? Did know. they live there? They lived in that house on the corner. Okay. Was that's, there another house in here that burned? That's where the store was. The store. Okay. It was a store in there and, and the blacksmith shop. Maxson uh, Maxson might have owned that store too, but I don't remember yeah, who run that store. Okay, then now these buildings were torn down for the new uh, road. Now these buildings belong to all these buildings grew up to where we'd get up to Burgess's. Mm hmm I think that's up in here. But all the buildings in here belong to Kerber's. It was tenant Kerber. Kerber. It was tenant John Kerber. It was tenant houses, and it was one house and a garage, or three houses, a garage, 
down an open space in a big house. And the big house was, stood right next to where that, that little, you know where they built that new building across the road from this, on this side. Okay. You know where I mean? You know, it was a gas a, station, a little gas station. There used to be a gas station. With the frame guess. building beside it, yes. Was there? Mm -hmm. Well, right across from that was a house that Will Kerber's wife lived in. Okay. A big house. Had you ever heard that called Oldfield or not? Did the Oldfields ever own that house? No. Not, not, not that time. you remember. Not okay. Not that time. I don't, the only thing the Oldfields owned was up at the up up the other station. end. Well, Mina Oldfield told me that her family had built a house down here at one well, time. It, it could have been yeah. their house and... That's and, right, and uh, Kerger's bought it Kerger's earlier. bought it. Okay. Well, Kerger, the rest of these, were these all tenant houses? These were all tenant houses. Club, they belonged to the Yates, uh, Yates family. Rackley no family. stores? One store. What was the store there? The, uh, Miss Matthews' store. Oh, the mm -hmm. Yates' store okay. was old Yates' store. But is that gone? Is that torn No, down? it's still up there. Okay, I think I think these buildings are all gone, though. All gone up to up to that little garage that's in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Kaplan owns that Burgess's garage. You know where that is? Right. Now, uh -huh. when we get up to Burgess's garage, you see it look across the street. Where did you say his house is? Well, I don't know which one was Burgess's. Now, he went on the street. Okay, but see, here's the, this is the black church, so the road goes no, up we, here we, today. We know that, we know that back for Yeah, now this is the black church across from, um... Yeah, but that's always on that side street. Right, well, uh, Hill I'm Street... The filling station. Well, no, the filling station's up here. Beyond, this is the other black church. This is St. Luke's. Oh, no, we're up the road. Yes, we're, we're, this is Fells Lane. I'm going to tell you, coming down... Where's Fells Lane? Right here. All right. Coming up Fells Lane. From Main Fells Street. Mm -hmm. Now it was two colored houses, three colored houses, belonged to the Curtis. Okay. And the next place was a Curtis garage. Was that this? Uh, no, that's it. Then, then the next place, now don't get up to Furnace Burgess School. No. Now the next place is this big house I was telling you about. You okay. said the old fields might have built it. Mm hmm But the curb is on. Next place is the Burgess Garage. Right, the mill. The, did they have that as their Oldsmobile garage when they sold Buick. Oldsmobile? Buick. Buick. That was there where their mill had been or their, their wheelwright shop. Well, they had a, they had a, yeah, a real nice job, but they had a race to come down in there and mm -hmm. run the mill. Yeah. They had a mill in there. Right. There were two different buildings there. Yeah. There's a white one and a gray one. I don't mean the one on the left hand side. No, the one on the right. Yeah, and it's that. small and it is still there. There's, they're both still there. Uh, well, they, but okay. One, the big house is below. Let me look it up in here. Right now, what what now was that, that? That's a garage. That was the Buick garage. That was Burgess's garage. That they, was built as a no. It was a built. I, I'm not sure, but uh, they had some kind of a, uh, a race come down in that stream to run a uh, some kind of a factory at one time okay. before Burgess started the garage. But right between Burgess's garage mm -hmm. and no, not up that far. We're way down here. Between, is, 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 would that be Burgess Garage or would that be the house, the big house? I I don't really know. I just can't remember. Now, right above Burgess Garage, they got a little. Yes, a little gray building. Well, that was used to, I forget who used that for a, a garage to park his car in. It could be used by the, the house across the branch. Uh huh. Oh, I, to the rear. Here's the house up on the hill. This is the Burgess. This is the brick house. Well, up on the hill. And here's one down at the bottom. Right. This is this building, I think. No, no it's another house in there. There's such close. A, a little. Oh yes. Okay. There were a right, number of that, houses. That's right. this house, isn't it? I'm not sure. It's hard to tell with the trees. Well, um. 
Where was where did they sell their Buicks from? Burgess. He, he the garage. Yeah, yes. yeah, he had a, uh, this was a garage, and he had a, a place where he was show the showroom there. They didn't keep but one car one. them days. <laughs> right. You're lucky to get one car. You right. had to order it, and it come too. I see. Okay, so that was actually where he sold his Buicks. That's right. Okay. Now you come on up the road. It's two little houses, uh, mm -hmm. uh, right above. Edge up, uh, going up there, it's no houses mm -hmm. because the race, the stream come down to mm -hmm. it. We got up there. It was two little houses. They were cold houses. Belonged to. Now I'm talking about on that side of. Mm -hmm. They belonged to the Yates family. Miss Miss Matthews was a Yates. Right. Right. And she's old Mr. Yates's daughter. daughter. Now, did that one house burn that you're talking about? The yeah. little houses, I don't know whether they're still there or not. Okay. I won't say it for sure. Now, the next place is the royal houses. Mm -hmm. Belongs to the Yates family. They did it. I don't know who owns them now, but okay. they belong to the royal houses and the store. Mm -hmm. Then the next royal houses was the... Uh, Ratcliffe yes. Row. Right. The next two houses belong to Charlie Ratcliffe. Two houses in between, and on a big house, sir. Right, big frame house. Big frame house. That was house. a Radcliffe family that home. That was right, right. And the next house was a stone house. I think Ratcliffe's on that at one time. I'm uh -huh. not sure. Okay, let's go back to the fire station here now. Um, the ne house next door. Now, was that Dr. Hansen? Dr. Dr. Bishop's now. Now, uh, right, and then? Uh, it was Dr. Shreve's at that time. Was it Shreve when you remember? Oh, yeah, Dr. Shreve. Okay, and he was a dentist? Dr. Shreve was a dentist. Okay. Did he have both sides, or was there a beauty shop or something over well, there? Well, that was added on. Oh, you remember when this was added? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was, uh, what's the name added on? That, Pickett? That no. was a home and a, and a uh, if you notice that, between the buildings, it was added on and, uh, and made a store for it. I the, think Ed, Ed, Ed Pickett? Pickett? Ed Pickett did that. Okay, now, so you say this was the original That's right. house. That's and then right. you remember when they added... No, I don't say I remember when they added it, but... Ed Pickett remodeled it. It okay. could have all been in one at one time. Okay, so Pickett remodeled the... As put his mother upstairs in an apartment. In an apartment, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, the next one was Dr. Gamble's. Okay, right now. Um, this was Dr. Gamble. That's right. And what was he? Uh, a medical doctor? Med MD, yes. Gambrell, B-R-I-L-L. -L. I think that's the way it's called. Did he live there? He lived there and had his office on. Okay, Basil's live there now. Basil. Basil. And he had it round back. He could put his horse and buggy around back. Oh, right. You go down the hill. A little street there. Mm -hmm. which, which she says, don't block us out. Yes. If you, right. Uh, okay, you know, so that's uh, the street down. The whole time that you were, that you remember, it was Dr. Gamble. That's right. Okay. Uh, 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 the brother Spank on you. Yes. Yes. Okay, then the house, the on the corner, there's a little frame and a brick house. That belonged to, to Fagler's. Fagler? Uh -huh, Fagler. F-A-G-L-E-R. Did they live there? Or no, did? no, I went. Okay. They, they only lived in one part, and I rented the other part out. As now, well. Yeah, now this part, when Pete Strongbow got married, he lived in that part. Okay. Uh, one so, part. So is this, which side did they live in? They lived in the one close to Court Avenue. The brick part. That's right. That's where, well, Doris told me that she had grown, that she was lived in this house. That's right. So this was Stromberg's on the corner. They just rented it? They, I'm sure they just rented it. I don't think they ever bought it. But and you think Fagler? Fagler. Fag, it's F-E-G? F-A-G-L-E-R, I think. Okay. F-A-G, Fagler. They yeah. owned it. Was uh, there a Kern that owned it later on then? Miss Kern oh. bought the other she bought this guy where P. Strongberg lived in, uh, and the Mayfields, uh, 
Jack Mayfield's aunt lived in this side. On this side later on? Yeah. After the Fagler's? The Mayfield's lived in one side. Okay, but Fagler lived there first? I'm sure he lived in one side of it. I don't okay. know which. It, see, they made it into two houses, it seemed to me like in the later years. Right. But I don't remember people living there, but I don't know their names anymore. They didn't have any stores, but they no, were homes. Not now. Okay. No, I, I don't want to jump it. All right, now you said Fagler's. That's right. Um, and what kind of a store? Grocery? The grocery's a general store. And then later on, did Holtzwigs Hol have it? Holtzwig? Yeah, but that's what, way later. Ed Wait. Pickett had it. And As a store? Had it, a store. Okay. Ed Pickett run it. Ellis run it. Ellis, E L L I S. Uh, yeah. But it was a store. It was a store. Okay, and then and Sites? Did, did somebody by the name of Sites in recent time? S I T E S? Do you remember? The name of the last one, right? Okay. Uh, Holtzwig had it and sold it out. Out to. Uh, yeah, I've got that in the deeds here. Um, Holtzwig sold it to um, Rosens and Mazel, Mazer. Toby. No, I don't mean it. He, saw, he didn't sell the store. He just uh, sold the that, uh, picking them and just leased it. Okay. Fagler owned it and leased okay. it. Fagler is F E I G L E Y. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I found that in the land records. Okay, and that was a grocery store. And did people grocery. live above it? Yeah, they lived above it. Okay, then. Now, now wait a minute. Okay. They didn't live above it at that time. They made them apartments above it after. Well, what would uh, they use it uh, for? Storage or? No, it wasn't. Uh, it was just one story. Is that what you're saying? No, it, it was a building, but it wasn't no apartments upstairs mm -hmm. until later on. Bangler lived the next building. Um, here. That's a, That's a double mm -hmm. building, but he lived on one part of it. He owned, he owned that. And then Dr. Miller bought it. Dr. Miller? Miller, M-I-L-O-E-R. And did he use it? He uses it all for Senna home. And he was an M.D.? Yeah. And then there was a Dr. Coach Cockman? Co Cookman? He never lived there. Did he have his office there? Not in my time. Not recently, Leon. I don't think he ever come on. Okay. He might have now. Jones had it for an office and. Right. That was here on this end. Yeah. Uh, two or three people, but it was so. Uh, Hallsweig, uh, Hallsweig bought it. Yeah, he owned it and and rented it out. To he his doctor. owned it and rented it out. Did, uh, was it like this then? Was did it was it three story like this? It, this? it was a big house. Yes, uh -huh. it was a nice big house. Then the next building is the uh, yeah. old police station, right. fire department. Yeah, I don't have the picture, but I've got the history of that. And of course, mm -hmm. then Talbot's. Talbot's Lumber Company was next. Right, and that was built. Other buildings were torn down. You're too young. You don't remember the buildings that were torn down for Talbot's to be built. Oh, no, no. that was built. That was years. when you were. Okay. The, the fabric house was always a dwelling, is that right? That's right. Uh, and then uh, next, next to it was a hotel. Oh, okay, the star, star, star apartment. Did he? Now he died, though, didn't he? And then he did died, Mrs. Yeah. Star continue? I don't business? remember. That's the funniest thing about that. Uh, the Star, Star family, and the Eastern family, and the Hillsong family were three undertakers, right. and they were fighting each other all the time. It was competition. It was competition, but I don't remember whether she. Whether she it. continued. They, they had three, three or four daughters. Yes. Star Miss M May Star is still living. living. She's back here. Okay, then I, I think I know the the library, the history yeah. of that. Uh, Howard House. That's when you were a boy, um, what was that? Brown's Grocery, or who ran the grocery store next to the Howard right. House? When I was a boy, mm -hmm. up over the Howard House built Eckert, mm -hmm. built, built this building on this side. Right. He rented it to the top floor to the Masons. Masons. And the underneath of it, he used to have, after Will, after Will Carter bought it, the mm -hmm. Howard House, he had movies 
we come from the Howard household and had movies upstairs. And that. oh. That's the first place I went to movies. Is that right? Yeah. Well, there was also movies down at the town hall, uh, down at the lower end, wasn't there? Yeah, the one down there and one at, at the Earl. Earl was on the street. On right the street. Down there. Yeah. Then so you had. Motors had movies yes. too. That's right. Okay. Then, well, what was down here on the street level? The, was it a grocery store? It, no, it was a bar room. Oh, it was a bar? Uh, during the before Prohibition time. Okay. Then, then they they rented out to uh, different ones. They had a barber shop in there at one time and a pool room. Mm. Before the grocery store. Before the grocery Browns. store. Browns. You remember Browns Market? Yeah, but uh, okay. what's your name had it for Brown had it. Who was uh, that? Piggy. Piggy? No. Uh -huh. Yeah, Piggy. Oh, that's uh, Charlie's father. Ma'am? Charlie Piggy's father? That's Charlie Piggy's father. He had a grocery store yeah, there. And sold out to Brown. Okay. Very good. And of course, the Howard House, when you were, was that no, a part that was a, No, that was a... A hotel? A hotel. I remember when they had a pump and everything had a pump. Okay. The wooden pump was for and the horses, or was it for public drinking water? The water pump. Horses, they had a truck yeah. where you could water your horse and drink out of it too, everybody. They all down Main Street, they had two or three right. pumps. Right, and you'd come and get your water so for the... It up and down. But they had water in the Howard House. Oh, they did? Oh, yeah, they had water. But uh, I remember the Howard House when uh, when we was nothing but boys. That was an e light place, that big iron porch on the front there. Was it? Oh, really fine. Well, what about some of these stories about uh, how wild it was at times. Were there periods when it was kind of know. a rough and tough <laughs> body house? Or did, yeah. you, did See, you that, ever hear that? That iron house was sold after Will Carter got it. Will, Will Carter got it during the, the, when they had whiskey. See, that was a first chance and last chance. He had whiskey up there that, where the garage was. That was a local store. Kerger, which garage? Now, where were we? was talking about up on the other side of Fells Lane. Okay, all right. He had a, a tavern up there. That was the first chance? That was a... Or last chance? That was last chance. Okay. First chance was... Was the Howard House? Howard House. <laughs> they were brothers. Run, run. Oh, I see. The brothers ran yeah. the two saloons, and first chance time. and last chance. So, um, is it true? I used to hear people say that during World War II, things were so rough in Ellicott City that... No, nothing to do with the Howard House. The Howard House no. was in apartments at that time. Okay. But what was this business about World War II? Well, they, they, they congregated over here from Port Maine. Hundreds of soldiers every weekend you see them. We didn't have too much trouble out. I mean, they put it off limits at one time because they got fighting with these mountaineers coming in for sawmills and things like that. Uh -huh. but they brought, well, you were a policeman then. You were a policeman. I knew everything went on in the old city. <laughs> right. So it was not that bad, but the. It Did you have to put them in jail? Were they getting oh, drunk? Oh, yeah, you'd lock them up and they'd come get them. From, so the, from the base? Yeah. Them days, you lock a person up for being drunk. Yeah. Now you take them home and you have to lock the white and him up together. Because yeah. you got <laughs> into a <laughs> fight, huh? <laughs> but we, I had put 38 in jail in one weekend. Were they all military? What? Were they all soldiers? No, 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 no. You know, you be surprised. We call them the mountaineers come in here from the hillbillies. Uh, hillbillies. Yeah. They call them that, but they come from Kentucky and. Um, they were working at the mills. Is they that right? They were working the to get jobs. They would come here. This is World War Two. Yeah. That we're talking about. That's right. And they did make it off limits then. From Fort Meade. That's and then all. did that stop them from coming up? The, uh, well, uh, some would sneak out and come up, but they. they would the, Would the military police come and patrol? No. No. We never had no nobody patrolled it but myself and we had another man, two of us at that time. And once they made it off limits then things quieted down. Oh yeah. It wasn't Ellicott City at that time. What was it? It was it was a uh, Ellicott City county seat had been taken away at that time. It it was not incorporated. No. Right? It was incorporated until nineteen thirty eight, I think they took the charge. Right, right. It was still Ellicott City, but it wasn't an incorporated city. You were then a they part had, of the county. Had, after Whiskey come back, they had about five or six taverns, exactly. you call them. And they were, some of them was real rough. Real rough. 
Okay, now next door to the Howard House, the stone building there. Is that a one, residence? But that was a residence. And the next door was a residence too, all both in houses. Okay, then that's like a double house there. Here's the picture of it. Now that's, they were, there were two new houses in here. Two? Next to the Howard House. Two there? There's only one front door. But two houses there. Okay. But they, they were all residences. They were residences. Even these? No, or, it, this is where Hickenbottom started this. Or was it next door here at Hick? I think others say that this is where Higginbotham started, That's the right. stone building. Uh, there was okay. only two houses in here. Well, this is that one that's covered with a white kind of front. This is this is Macaulay's. Macaulay had a uh -huh. barbershop in there. And okay. They did it one time. Barbershop. Uh-huh. And is this only one house here? Yeah, this is a small stone house. That belonged to, that belonged to, uh... Staff? Who? Staff? S-T-A-P-F? Staff lived there. Uh-huh. But, uh, that belonged to, they not owned it, uh, but... Oh, I know, the Hoplites, um... No, they, uh... McNabb? Me, me owned that at one time. And you got that in there? Me? No, I've got, um... Caleb Rogers, oh, McNabb owned it. Hearman, McNabb. And then uh, this other building belonged to where, what's his name is, belonged to uh, Herbert, Dr. Herbert Miller. Okay, oh, Miller. 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 Okay. And the next, next place where Gover's lived, I don't know who owned that. Where did Gover's live? In this building there. What was their name? They lived upstairs and he had a, and it was also, <coughs> Higginbottom started his business up. Right. And okay. it, the families lived upstairs, and after Higginbottom moved out, it became a bar room. Okay. Bloom run a bar room there. Bloom did? Yeah. How about um, Telephone? Who? Was the Telephone Company there for a while? Do you remember? Telephone Company? There at one time? I, I don't think so. I don't know why the Telephone, telephone Company was always on the other side of the street. How about a bootery? Did they sell boots there? Do you remember that? That was before your time, probably. You remember it as Bloom's Bar. Bloom's Bar, yeah, Bloom's Bar. And with dwellings up above. It was, a, it was seemingly like it was two little stores there. Yeah, there, that could have been two, yeah. the way it's divided. And this is a new building. This was the Times built this in 1926. And there was what a frame building here at one time. There was a little building there, run by Black Frank Scott. And that was a barbershop. No, a colored colored barbershop. Uh -huh. Black. You better uh -huh. put black. Don't put colored. Right. Okay. Run by Frank Scott. Uh -huh. Okay. And then the Times. Now, I, that little building could have belonged to Mrs. Merrick. Now it could have belonged okay. to Mrs. Merrick. That little building. Okay. Because Frank Scott was. Uh, she left him some ground up on Pell's Lane. Oh, was that uh, Scotty's father? No, no, no. No, no different relation. Scott? No relation. Well, you know, Scotty lives up on Pell's uh, Lane. I know, but the, this, that's a different Scott. This poor Scotty lives in the alley when okay. he was born. His Oliver Scott. Oliver Scott, right, okay. Yeah. Now, you remember when this building oh, yeah. was built? No, I was stone out of that building when he built, built that building. Pete Schoenberg built it, and post office went in part of it, and he had it for the Times office. Okay, and then there was a fire, wasn't fire. there? Yeah. Burnout, burnout, maybe it didn't, I don't remember, but when it burned out, it might have burned out, but they didn't come up and bought the... Okay, but the post office was here for a while, along with the Times? That's right. They both occupied it. Both occupied it, Okay. Was there? Do you remember that if it was a drug uh, a drug warehouse at one time, way back? Did Dr. Martin? Do you remember Dr. Martin, the druggist? Yeah, but I don't remember Dr. Martin ever having anything in that building. Well, before it was the Times. Do you know? Well, I don't remember. I thought it was just a big rock in there. But no, there was a, a frame building there, way back. These to Jacob Kern. We're talking about 1918. A small it? building occupied by Frank Scott talked about that. That's a, that's a one that I'm was the one about. next door. 
right. Then it said there was a frame building, we're talking about 1903, formerly used as a laboratory, now occupied by the Democratic Journal. There was evidently another uh, newspaper. Uh, wait a minute. We, we down in there between the, between the Oddfellows building, there was a little building in there. Okay, and here, this and is it the owned, owned by Crohn's. But that building, that building I'm talking about still stands. Now that little building still stands there. Born uh -huh. man Gillette, he had an office in there. Well now this, you know, this is, here's the Oddfellows building. Right here, right? Yeah. Is this now, on this okay. side of the Oddfellows building. No, the only thing on this side of the Oddfellows building now is this one. See here, you can see it right here. That's right next door. It's a lot of tour this building when they built that, but I thought that building stood after they built the Times office. I think they tore a frame building down to build the Times office in 1926. Okay, and then this has been the Oddfellows Lodge, uh, as long as you can Lodge remember. Lodge. They had apartments what, upstairs. And what was down on the first floor? Down below, and they had a insurance building, building association insurance. Okay. Building Association. That's that was right. like a savings and loan savings or something? Savings and loan. I forget what they call it. Higher kind of savings and loan or uh -huh. city savings and loan. And Dr. Ben ran that? Ben Miller? Yeah, him and uh, the Talbots okay. and the cars. Uh, Herman and Carr had their office. All right. Insurance. Herman, Herman and Carr insurance piece. All right. Okay. Now the next building, Bada's Shoe Shop. Do you remember the... That belonged to... There was another shoeman before Bada, right? Oh, uh, I always thought it was Crooks. Nan... Navicki? Navicki? Navicki. Yeah, they run a shoe shop right, right. before John bought it. Right. And Navicki. then it said Taylor's sold it. And Powers sold it to Taylor? No. Was it, was it? Rody owned it at one time. See, on the next, next corner, next, next building to it, uh -huh. is, is another building. Right. That's where I thought, I thought he had, this building here, I thought he had uh, Taylor set up in this building, but according to that, Taylor owned it, had the building where John bought it. Well, Taylor owned it. That didn't mean always that they had his business well, there. Well, Taylor went from here, did one of these buildings. Okay, across? Across the street and built where Dennison was. Then he went from there and built one up on the corner. Right, okay. So one of these was Taylor. Taylor, I don't know who owned it. And okay. the next one, Julius Woosh. Was this a, this one was Julius's? Woosh. Okay, what did he do there? He was a police and right. city for years and years. And is that where you had your office? And you were a policeman? When the first started, yeah. Right next to where Vada was? No, not in the... Next to Vada? Next to that. This okay. building's still out. I don't right. know who owns it. It's an antique shop? Yeah. Maxine. Uh, the next one is Wishes. Okay, this this one was Wishes. That's right. Where the black barber shop is today, Ross's barber shop. I don't know what's that. Right. It used to be the Red Cross. Marino's owned it. Roger Marino owned it in the 70s. But this is where Julius Wish had That's his. That's right. The next is the bank. Right. Okay. Do you remember what was next door over here? It was an antique shop? When? It was apartments. All these had apartments uh -huh. upstairs. How about down below on, on the street? That's where I thought Taylor started. Okay. I don't know. I don't know either, but I thought he started in that building. Okay. Uh, 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 Petticoids had, the, had a... Uh, Hardware store? Uh, so... Sold uh, vacuum cleaners and frigid air and that guy pedicor. Yeah. Now he was in that building now. Which one building. here? Guy pedicor. Guy pedicor had it at one time. And that was an appliance, appliance store. Appliance, yeah. But the hardware was across the street. The other pedicor had one across that, the street. Well, that, they moved. Oh, well, they moved across the street. Then. Okay. Okay. Then we had the bank, and then. This was this Norton's Pharmacy when you That's were. That's right, Norton's Pharmacy. Ben Miller owned it. Okay. And the next one was Miss Heavey. Miss what? Mr. Heavey's home. Mr. Heavey's home. Home. He was a. He was a guard over to the. Then that turned into a. 
tavern at one time. The first floor. Well, when yeah. Heavey lived there, did he live on the first floor? He lived the whole house. The okay, whole house. and then later it was a tavern. Who and ran the tavern? It and started a, a restaurant, they call it, mm -hmm. restaurant and tavern. I don't know who ran that tavern there. Okay. Now, do you remember? Next one's a five and ten cent store. Right, that was Mark, Bob's. Bob's five. Norman built that. Right. Oh, no, your brother? My brother built that. He in. built it or did he, he remodel it? He, he built it. Tore the whole thing out and built it. Is that right? So that's a fairly new building? That's a, a, a whole building. Is, it had a front on it. it. It took the front out and we both went back in and blew the rock out of that block. Okay, so that's fairly new. When did he build that? In the thirties, I don't know exactly when. Okay, so he had torn out what was there. He had torn out. He bought that old building from Sam Kern, I think he bought it from, uh -huh. and they tore it out. And Bob bought it from Norman. Nineteen thirty-five. What you got there? Okay, now? wait a minute. This is, I got to get the right one. Bob Weigel. Yeah, Norman Moxley bought it in 1935. My goodness. Where'd thought, you get that memory, huh? <laughs> I thought it was 35. Right. Sam Curran sold it to Norman, Norman Moxley, Moxley, and then thought. Robert Weigel bought it from him. Owned, owned it. And that was Bob's 5 and 10. That's right. Right, okay. But when Bob's 5 and 10 came in, that was a new building. And he owned it for years before he bought it. Bob did. Yeah. So this is what your brother built. That's right. He tore out an old, was it a stone? An old stone building. Tore the, all the print out of it. See, that's a stucco building now. Okay. Um, he just and took made, out everything made, that made was there? three apartments upstairs, uh -huh. and, uh, and Bob moved in the downstairs. Okay. And so he was there for a long time. Bob. Bob was there the whole world, yeah. Okay, what was, um, I'm losing track right about here. Next door was the... Uh, okay, now, the next one is a granite building. Ne now, these, there's three granite buildings here. Was this the cab? Was there a taxi cab there? The taxi cab business is one, but it was a bar room, a taxi cab. Okay. One of them was a bar room, taxi cab, and a, and a pool room. Okay. And down here is that long building. Yeah, but that's the frame building. We're not there yet. Okay. Here. There were these three granite buildings. That's right. It was a so one was a bar, and mm -hmm. one was the taxi cab, and one was a pool room. Yeah. But in uh, early, early years, uh -huh. it used to be a... A uh, shoe store in one of them buildings. Okay, one, you don't know which I one? I don't remember shoe what, store. which one. But they all belong to the Crafts, I think, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, I think so. The Crafts owned a lot of property from yeah. time to time. And Hunt's, Hunt's also owned. Yeah. Thomas Hunt, Elizabeth yeah. Hunt, those are names that I find. And Dr. Ben, looked like Rosenstock owned it for a while. Bought yeah, he, owns, he owned some of them on that side. Yeah. Right, and then they rented them out to the various yeah. businesses. <coughs> okay, now that included up to the long frame building. That's right. Okay, that, that long frame building belonged to the crash. What was that? Uh, it was a uh, people lived upstairs, uh -huh. and it was a store. Uh, Eckloff had a furniture store in there at one time. Okay, now this is the frame building. That's a frame building all the way down to that little alley. Okay, that's. Uh, that <coughs> That's all this building today. Okay, Eckloff had a furniture store. That's right. Okay, then you come to what was the new town hall. This big... No, 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 down that part. Yeah. No, okay. no. Oh, no, we got the brick buildings first. Three Is that right? Three other buildings in there. All these brick ones, okay. Well, only right. the roofs, two of them did. Okay, here we have... Uh, there's actually five. Five yeah. brick buildings. Yeah. Okay, did they all belong to Woosh? Woosh owned two of them. Here, here's the one on the end. Woosh owned two of them. Um, Gordon. What was it? Mary Gordon. Her husband was a tenor. Okay, now, so... It's possible to play for them, some of them. Okay, right, and they had different shops in there? What What was well, in they, there? They, the, the first floor is they never used them much. The first 
one was where Lynch had his office. Now what, but not the placement. Up, or, uh, All right, was he a placement there first? Was that this one right next that, to the big frame right. house? He had that and the one next door to it. Wish had his place Wish had his office there, and he owned it. He, uh, uh, Is he uh, in real uh, estate? No, or? he he used to clerk rents and everything right. like that. Okay. But, but he never owned anything. He only owned it in his name. Of course, he oh, never right. got enough money to, to, to live get on to it. I don't think he ever paid for any of those properties. Ben Miller and Mal Easton and Sam Yates always. They, they owned them and let well, him. Well, they financed them. They, they financed them for him, okay. But this is where he first was a place. That's right. right. His first one next to that building that had his office there. And they, did then he live here too? He lived there too. Okay. And then he had a taxi cab stand there. He did? Or uh, somebody else? Out. Okay. Then there was a taxi. Then it was a Tina lived in one of them, good in one of them storefronts. Okay. She lived upstairs. Okay. It had a, 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 you don't have it with the little rail up top, do you? No. They used to have a little porch up top. Oh, you did they? You walk out yeah. along about that wide and rail on. But you yeah. said they didn't really use these this lower level that much. Not, huh? not that much until you got down to the last one, and that was a taxi cab stand for years. That was Delp's cab, Delp's I remember. Delp's cab. Uh-huh. Let me ask you, did you ever hear the story about Mr. Shea, the shop owner who was murdered there? Uh, I've heard about it, but I don't know. They mm -hmm. claim a, it was black, a, black, a young black, black man, man and did it, and he took him up there and hung him. him. Right, that's in the newspaper. I have the story of well, it. Well, that's what they said. Did, did they say which one it was in? Was it this one? Did you I ever hear? I don't know which one it was, but uh, Mary Gordon's husband was his tenor. She lived in one. A tinner, T I N N. Tinner. Worked with tin. No, yeah, put tin rules on yes, it. Yes, okay. And he'd come out, he used to drink it right smart. He'd come out and fell right straight over that thing right down on the street and never even got a scratch. Right off the porch? Right off, off the porch, off the porch that on porch the main on. street. But, oh. uh, <laughs> uh, uh, up, up in the, one of them buildings we was talking about up there yeah. where it used to be a taxi cab was up in the ground. But, Wish ran his out to uh, uh, Hill, Hill's cab. Hill, Hill owned that building, I think, at one time. Okay. Bush had Hill's cab had it. Okay. Well, there weren't too many automobiles then, so did people use more taxis? Well, in the, in the, I'm talking about in the... 30s, 40s? 40s. 40s. A after the war. Okay. Or during the war. During the war, when people Before couldn't Before the war, they had three, Charles cab, Hunter Marsh Cab and Delp's Cab. Well, it's the first one that you're saying, Charles? Shaw. Shaw. S-H-A-W. Oh, Shaw. Okay. And then what was the next one? Uh, Hunter Mark. Hunter Mark. H-U-N. D-E-R-M-A-R-K, I think that's what it's called. Oh, Hunter Mark. Okay. Those are three different cabs. Yeah, and the Delp Cab. And Hills. Delp. And Hills, too? Well, Hill, Hill. Hill. And Delp's. So there were a number of them. Okay. I think, I think he didn't own that building and Hunter Mark, Hunter Mark ran, ran, the, ran the Okay. Now. Now you're down at this. Now we're down to the top. Rody building. Rody's. Ed right. Rody had a, see, see, I was claimed at the top of that building was built like it was slide out in the street, but it never slid out in the street. <laughs> he had it and so did the Yates. Okay. Charlie, uh, Charles Yates. And when Rody had it, do you remember the different uses that the building had? Well, they had all kind of uh, shows out, live shows, uh -huh. and they had movies out too. Right. Was that on the top floor that no, they had? No, it was next to the top floor. Well, what they have on the top floor? No, it, it, it was just a warehouse. Uh, warehouse? No, they didn't put on take up on the top. It just opened the door. We sat on benches. Yeah, okay. Yeah, when the benches, no backs on them, just benches. For the movies? Uh-huh. Uh, up on the top floor, it was just... No, not the top floor, the next floor. They didn't have movies up on, in my time, they never did. You never, they never used that top floor I for anything? I don't think so. That you remember? No, I don't think so. This was the top floor that we ever went up to. Okay. And there is where you watch the movies. Now, they, then they, people moved up there. He had apartments up there after, after Mr. Yates bought it. 
But I don't remember anybody living up there until Yates bought it and made a promise. Well, you know, the, the newspaper talks about different manufacturing, like they had shirt factory in here. We're talking about before you were born. Oh, I don't remember that. Right. But somebody told me there were bowling alleys in here at one time. The bowling alleys was down below, wasn't it? They're not ever been. That's what I'm trying. Somebody else said they were down in the basement of the old hotel, but somebody else told me. And in the newspaper, it called it Rhodes Amusia, A-M-U-S-E-A. -A. I, I well, they called it Rhodes Newsstand. Uh, uh, yeah, right. Uh, but that he had one of those little buildings next door from the, what the pictures look like. Now, w wait one minute. Uh, Rody, Rody's News Depot or something. But, but he didn't He didn't have it after he saw Rody went over there. I see. And he had a, had a uh, barber shop, shoemaker shop in that little building. Yeah. Only to the junior building we call it. John Baker owned it last. A stone building. That's the next one over. That's right. Okay. And then the next one is the old but in, in this one, you don't remember anything like a penny arcade where you'd go in and put a nickel or a penny in and, and play games, you know, like down at Ocean City? It, it is possible it was, but not in my, don't I don't remember. Yeah. The only place that we, see, we, we only got 25 cents a week. <laughs> when you were a child, right. Well, when I was 15 years old, we only got a quarter a week. Right, so you didn't and have to. We we'd go to Elk City. You look on places up where they buy them penny machines, but I don't remember any up being up there. See, Charlie Yates, Charlie Yates bought that old building. Must have been way back in the teens. Uh huh. I guess in the 20s. Ed Rody to Yates, let's see. 1923. Who Rody? You got who Rody, Rody for um, Rogers, Paul, let's see, Yates to Hood. Looks like maybe. Rogers, when he was an attorney, about 1906, sold it to Rody. Rody sold it to Yates and the, held a mortgage of about eight thousand dollars on it. And they, uh, that was in 1923. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But the next building. What did Yates do with it then? He put. He had a store. He had a. A grocery store. Oh. On the okay. big first floor. They made a grocery store and then they sold beer and when beer come back and everything like that. Well, was it, was, did Jack Bill, Hood have a grocery store later there? Bill Hood. Bill Hood had a grocery later That's on. right, it was his son-in-law. Okay. Was Yates his son-in-law? That's right. Oh, okay. He All right. Charlie Yates All right, now this building, you said that Rody moved know. into here after he left the other one? This building right. here, not, not in the Pennington building. You not call this the Pennington building? Th this don't go through on the railroad. No, no, uh, this that, is just the railroad. had a, they had a shoemaker shop and a mm -hmm. barber shop. Mm -hmm. Everybody owned that building. Okay. And uh, Al Cram moved his barber shop. I'm going ahead of time. Okay. Al Cram moved his barber shop from up the other end of town, one I'll show you on the other thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Rody, Rody run the, Rody run Rody, it was his brother, I think, had the, the shoemaker shop. Mm -hmm. then, then the barber shop was sold out to Frank Fisher. I think Frank Fisher run the barber shop right after it. And they had what people lived in? Uh, no, up on the top of it, yeah. Junior Order. Junior Order. Uh, uh, it was like a Mason's Lodge. Okay. And uh, they had the whole top floor. That wasn't and the They bought it, they bought it from Rhodes. I'm um, thinking if you look in there, okay. it's the Junior Order. They, they, uh, then they made apartments up there, and John Baker owned it last. Right, I got where John Baker sold it to Kate. Sold it to who? Uh, oh. To the present owner. Here's uh, G. Y. Clark. They were trustees to Ed Rody. Ed Rody bought it in 1912. It says and Fisher. Fisher. The That's going way back. <laughs> well, that was 1881. <laughs> it was before you remember, I'm well, sure. I remember when okay, how? But you remember when the old hotel was torn down? It burned down. Well, no, it it 
fell apart. No, it fell apart. Because the well, trolley I remember broke. that had fallen apart and laid <coughs> vacant for years. Uh -huh. And this fellow Pennington come out there and bought it and uh -huh. built that building in there and made apartments upstairs. Uh -huh. See, that, that hotel has got an entrance from up on. It did, from the train track. Uh, from the, all the apartments he made in there, he made, you could come out on the train track and walk down to the street and on the, but from up on Church Road. Yes, uh-huh. There was a street went down like that and back all them houses and come uh -huh. down, supposed to come down back of that. Did that ever do it? They never had a street in there, but they got a, a easement, we call it, or uh -huh. right away. All the way down, I found by the Memphis Church, yes. I think you went in oh. and went down in there. Hmm. So Pennington uh, was the one who rebuilt it and, and then he rebuilt it as apartments. And what did he do it with the lower floor then? And stores in there. All stores. All open. kind of shops. Okay. Then, then Taylor, have you got anyone in there? Taylor bought it at a, at a, uh, sale? Tax sale? No, I don't. Uh, and uh, then Taylor on it was? Or Sam Kappa. Well, Sam Kappa. <laughs> Who called that? <laughs> Sam never had none. Paul Taylor had none. Right. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't have that. Okay. So, should we start up the other side of the street? Yeah, start right. Start at the bin over. Okay, let me... Well, I'm not satisfied with the bin. Wooden bridge. Step. Uh -huh. Uh, oh yes, up yes. Steps went yes. up to the to the tracks. To the tracks. Right. Then the next little building stood by. All oh, those are gone now. They're all right. gone. Uh -huh. But that portion belonged to uh, being a railroad on the ground. Somebody else owned it. What was that building used that for? That was used as, as a, in my first time as a street easy, if you know what I mean, street easy during prohibition time. Oh, okay. And it was used as a dress shop. Then it was used as a bar room afterwards. Why was it torn down? Well, the railroad wouldn't extend the lease for the bar room, and the next place was a bar room, and the railroad owned that. Two? That was a corona suggestion. And it was a, in my time, it was a. Now, wait a minute, are we talking about Valmas's restaurant there on the corner? No, no, we're talking about the one that's for that. This this is the corner there now. Yeah, that's what okay, I You're talking there. about a building that was there. Okay. That was a, a barber shop and a lunch room. Mm -hmm. A candy kitchen, we used to call them them days. Then Coronas's, Majoris's, Plaza. Owned that business. Mm -hmm. And it was a liquor store. And a restaurant. Then the Vino wouldn't extend the license to that cause because of what's the name? Complain? Johnny O'Brien. Johnny O'Brien. He wasn't there then. It was uh, uh, Fizzle. Fizzle. Okay. Yeah. They were complaining. They had a bar room. They were complaining about the noise over on this side of the street and the noise over there. So the Vino tore those buildings down to widen, or the county did it, to widen the road. The road. Okay. They're now on. Okay, so they tore them down. Then you had like wooden bridges to go across the river up into the railroad depot. Is that right? A wooden bridge between these two buildings. Mm -hmm. Then it was an alley between this building and this building. Okay. A wooden alley. Went up to the Clark's hardware store. Okay. We uh, this building here was Johnny O'Brien owned it. Right, as a bar. As a right. model bar room. That's before the prohibition time I'm talking about. Okay, this is and before. And then Fizzle bought it. And Fizzle had it during prohibition? They had a bar room too. But during prohibition, what'd they do? Huh? What'd they do during prohibition? How could you have yeah, a bar? I, uh, I don't know whether they, they had a candy kitchen and I um, mean, uh, uh, soda fattens and that kind of stuff. And, and then, then after he bought it, he sold it to John Bounds. Oh, when right. Whiskey right. come by. Oh, I see. Okay. 
and John had a liquor license and a Ronald restaurant, mm -hmm. and he lived upstairs. Okay, was it like this then? Was it this two story? It's just like it is now. Because I have a picture of it when it was one story. Yeah, well, it, they put the stop on it. I don't know what uh, Pizzle built that, I think. It had a little store of rooms on the back. Then John Bonas bought it, and John, uh, uh, I don't know whether John bought it, uh, put that on there, or, or Pizzle. I think Pizzle lived up in there. Okay. Let me ask you about Talbot's, uh, all these buildings back here. You remember. Now, what are you talking about? Ta uh, Clark's Lumber. Excuse that, me. That belonged to Will Dorsey. Mm -hmm. that, that whole block, it was a cold yard and everything belonged, that whole block in there belonged to Will Dorsey. Mm -hmm. And they had garages in the back of it, parked cars in. Eastern Park, the ambulance and, mm -hmm. and things back in there. And Eastern, the back of it, was in. Belonged to Eastern? Yeah. Uh -huh. Tyler Street. Right. Right, what back here now, was this Easton? No. This is a frame building back of Clark's. Back in back of Clark. Uh-huh, well, on Tiber Alley. Well, no, uh, See, this is, this is at the end. This was the old mill, or the power plant. And then you go up that, here. These were garages. Okay. These were garages. That was That's a, this building. No, no, no. This right here. Yeah. This garage, this garage here, or whatever it was there, mm -hmm. when they had the plant washed away, okay. John Bowles had his car in there. Oh, in, in 1972? No, it went 55, wasn't it? 50. Oh, there was another, there were lots of floods, yeah. right? In the 50s. Okay. And uh, this, this place here, next mm -hmm. to it was, uh, where it was the eating place at now. The Eastern? Eaton, Eaton Place. Oh, right That's here, right here, down here at the end. Well, is that, is that? The, the stone mill. Huh? That's a stone mill. That was the power plant. The flour mill, right here. This is side street. Yeah, the restaurant. That, that, this is a... This is look coming in from Main Street, and then you turn and go this way. Now, th this building here was a garage. Mm-hmm. And, and where that was, was a garage. This building was a garage too. They, they, when they had horses, they used it as a livery stable, right, okay. See, here's here's the restaurant. I've never been in that restaurant since then. Yeah, that's, <laughs> but what do you remember it was being used as? This was the livery. It was used as a, as a garage. Just your brother Mark wrote a little history about the power plant. Right, yeah. That's where the power plant was, wasn't it, at one the, time? The power plant was a the building where the, wasn't right over the, uh, wasn't right over the uh, branch. No, the it's branch a, is here. Well, the branch is there. That building washed away. It used to be a building in there. And then the next building was Easton's where they put all the ambulance and everything in there. That was a power plant. Mm -hmm. Then the next building around here, see these store fronts were many of them no. when, I, when I was. No. The next building around here is where the, they had rented garages. And there was a plant, a, a frame building that washed away in here? Yeah, it was a, between one and the corner, the craft store was craft on the store. corner. Right. Uh -huh. And it was a building, it was a wooden bridge in there. I don't know what it is, wooden bridge in there now, yet. yeah. No, there isn't. And okay. that was a, that was a garage in there, and John Bonas had his car parked in that garage, and he did, did away from the water and come down and blocked the Tiber Street up, that's what caused it to... To flood. Flood. The car. The car, <laughs> the car caught on his back door. parked in there, it, that was over here rather than here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're back to Main Street here. Um, wanted to show you a picture of a... Next building was a bar room. Oh, it was? Yeah. Another bar. Yeah. There was a fire. Um, well, that fire went to the way the earth. 
Yeah, the fire was in the 60s. I don't know. The fire burnt the, burnt the pool movie, hall. Movie, movie like. Right, the Earl Theater. And that was never rebuilt, was it? No. But okay. Before that, before that. Okay, so what was this then? This was a bar? This little building next yeah, to Yeah, that was a bar where Ray had the grocery store. Right, Ray Dorn had a grocery right. store, but who ran the bar there? Um, uh, Kramer. 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 K-R-A-M-E-M. Yeah, Kramer's Bar. Kramer's Bar. Okay, and, and, and then, then East. Down the next was Easton's. Right, we got it. Easton's Funeral Home. The Easton Funeral Home. Now, above the Easton Funeral Home is where that right. burn out, the Earl burn out. Right, that was the Earl. Now, uh, the Earl burn out. But before that, in Tim Clark, had a, a, a hardware store. Oh, he did. His father had a E.T. E yeah. truck, not the young one, the one no. that died in the oh, no, His no. father right. had a, a hardware store. I don't know. Before the Earl Theater was built. Before the Earl Theater built. It burned, uh, uh, he sold it to Rody, I'm sure, mm -hmm. and Mr. Clark went over and joined with Billy, Billy Owens over in the oh. other, uh, E.T. Clark's Billy and over in the other place. That wasn't Dorsey. Was it Owens? Billy? Well, yeah, that's right. Well, Dorsey, okay. Billy Owens was Bill Dorsey's nephew, okay. and Clark and, and Dorsey went together. Okay. And Billy Owens and, and Clark stayed together. Okay. Now, then the next building was uh, where they this still are. Right. That's uh, still on. That was a general store, one of them in my time, but name of, uh, people named a Jones on it. Okay. A general store. A general store. And then later on, was this Carino's pool hall? That was a. a uh, and bar? Did they have no, that? No, they didn't. They only got too far. In between there, there were two. Uh, all, all theater, it was uh -huh. a bar room, a pool room, that burned out. Right. When the, okay. That burned out with that. Now. Well, was this a pool room too? They, had, time? they had a bar room there. I don't remember what they had. They might have had a pool room, but they had apartments upstairs. Uh -huh. uh, Joe was on that building, I'm sure, at one time. Okay, but he had it as a general store before Coronials? Early years. Yeah. Then the, I don't know who run it in the meantime. Right. Now that's Crafts. Crafts. And that was Crafts for a long time. Okay, now yeah. the next one. Was this Valmas's? That's right, it's Wall Sam Kern. Okay, and Valmas ran a restaurant ran, there? Ran a restaurant there. And for years and years, then he went, had to move. Did he have the whole thing or just? No, one, one part of that was a ballroom years ago I'm talking about. Uh -huh. And the other was a restaurant. Then Sam, Sam Kern had a, a grocery store in there. Okay. And so John Bamas and his brother took the whole thing over when the grocery store closed. No blocks grocery store was on I think that's what the name of it. Okay. A sanitary or something, they had a different name. Mm -hmm. Now the next is Rosenstocks. Okay, Stocks. Well, yeah, this big one. That's yeah, big one. That was Rosenstock. Now, okay. do you remember when he built that new product? Oh, yeah, he built that new product in the same time Taylor built a new store up there. They weren't related, Rosenstock and Capital. No, no. no. They, Were they in they, competition? They, they, oh, yeah. Okay, now do you remember, did he tear down a bunch or did he no, just put a new front on? He put a new front in. But in, in these stores here, uh -huh. there was a couple little stores in there he bought and put the new front in. Then he had a barber shot up in one side of it. Uh-huh. Do you know who ran that? Yeah, Babylon Barber Shop was That there. was where Babylon's was at first? That's right. Okay. Not for, after they moved him down over, I told you it was in that restaurant, they moved up. In here, I'm sure that's where they moved. Babylon was down there by the B&O? Yeah. And then after they tore that down? After, no, before they tore it down, when that 
they made a ballroom out of it, he had to move. Okay. So I'm thinking he moved up in one of these little buildings here. Okay. If he didn't move in that little building there, he moved in the building at, at the... Bank? No, oh, no, up at the, up at the Harold House, where the Jim Brown was. Before Jim Brown, the okay. grocery store was Before the grocery there. store. He, I think he moved from down here okay. up there. Okay. And he moved from there down there to the Rome Stocks, and the last place they had it was right there beside the bank. Right. Ba uh, Babylon and yeah. went together. That's right. Okay, so when Rosenstock, had, where did he have his department store if he had other stores in here? He, he, uh, it was a, a building about that size, half of it. He bought it, this other building and made it into a whole store. So did, he, did Rosenstock ever have the whole thing as his department store? He had it as his department oh. store, but he rented some of this out, like I told you, to the barber shop. Right. It went okay. on the side like that. Okay, so part of it was the barber, but the rest of it was yeah, Rosenstock's yeah. department store. That's right. And well, I remember when they only had a little old front. And then was it it's empty lots or? No, it was, it, it was, it was buildings in there, but I don't know what. Little buildings, huh? I think he owned them. Uh-huh. And then he put a whole new front mm -hmm. on it in the that, 20s, in the mm -hmm. 1920s. In the 20s, what you got there? Well, somebody said 1929. That's possible. Okay. All right, now Charles Wayland owns these two buildings and he's remodeled mm -hmm. them. Now Charles Wayland does. Yeah, but one of them was, uh, one of them was a barbershop. Which barbershop was it? Uh, one in, uh, uh, this, this must have been the barbershop and okay. this must have been the uh, uh, grocery store of uh, Tom Bryant's. Brian? Brian's grocery store. B-R-Y-A-N? B-R-I-N. B-R-I-N. I-N. Okay. And then later on it was the library? Remember later that? Later on it was the library, that's right. Okay. And now National this was League. Joe Miller's barbershop? Well, that was Phil Lowman's. Phil Lowman? Uh -huh, he owned it. Was it Lowman? L? L-A-U-M-A-N. Okay, the Lowman's had a number of businesses in that, didn't they? Weren't there not a lot of Lowman's around? No. Well, it, it spills all the ones that I knew. Okay, or earlier then, I guess. Okay, and then of course Kaplan's. Do you remember before Kaplan's? Kaplan's, it was another little building in here, uh -huh. and he took the whole thing in. Right. And what was it? Was it called the Boston Bargain Store at one time? Did they used to call that? Do you remember that name? Not in my time. You, they always called it Kaplan's from what you could remember. Then the next door to okay. it was the... Got to get the next sheet. <laughs> okay. uh, Sam then bought a copy and he remodeled up from lettuce and all that. Two stone stores. It's two stone stores. One was run by the Kirkwoods right. shoe store. Mm -hmm. The other one was run by Walter Fizzle, Fizzle. grocery store. Okay. The bigger one was Kirkwood's shoes and then Fizzle's grocery. Was yeah. that the same Fizzle that had the store in the corner? Down? Yeah, his brother. His brother. Yeah. They're brothers. Okay. And then we got the bank. And then no. next to the bank, these are the ones that all burned in 84, but this is where Petticords had their hardware? Hardware. What nope. Petticord was that? Uh, guy Petticord and... Uh, hmm. The Bryans had it first. Hope, they bought from Hope. Uh, Hope Bri Hardware. Hope, H-O-P-E? Uh, Petticords bought from Hope? Hope. Okay. And Hope bought from Bryan. And it was a hardware store all those That's times? Right. Okay. Then the... Five and ten cent store. That yeah. was Austin's five and That's ten right. and later Owen's? That's right. Okay, even when you remember back. Well, when, it, when I remember back, it was uh, in that road, uh, it was a furniture uh, store run by... Agrawoods, I think. See, the, the, these buildings, Holdsweig remodeled these buildings. Did they? Holdsweig owned it? Holdsweig owned this building. He remodeled it. 
Did when he remodeled them, did he make them larger or no, just put they, a new brick front on or no, what? They, they added to it and put a new brick front on. But he took them two stores out. I don't know who owned them, both them stores. It was there two stores. There were two stores, stores and he there. made it into one. He made it one and put apartments upstairs. And mm -hmm. Austin five and ten come up. Okay. Or it, what, did Austin come up first or was it Edwards five and ten? I just got Holtzwig buying it in 1932. Who? Holtzwig in 1932. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. He bought the two buildings. Well, and then, um, now, this, this one right here. Now, this was Holtzwig. And then this little one. The, this one, the little one here belonged to, uh, it used to be what a clock place was. Right, uh-huh. It burned out. Right. That used to be a, a, a clothing store. Clothing? But not really up as far as the building it. But not up as far as No, the, we're up to here. This is where the Times used to be. And then this was a liquor store. That's a liquor store. That's 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 so, a liquor store. Uh -huh. And this is uh, this is where uh, economy store was. That was the economy uh -huh. department store or yeah. something. Are you sure that wasn't up here where the Times was? See, the Times had these two buildings up here. Somebody said this was the economy where store, we, or did it move? Where, where we are, uh, okay. Johnson Drug Store. I'm not sure where that was. Well, see, 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 this was Lighting's Bakery at the time that it burned. Well, see, that's Lighting's Bakery was in the Hallsweek building. Okay. And the right. next building was a clock place. Right. Burned. Yes, when it burned. All right. But what was it before when you were? Uh, the, the, the clothing store? Now, the next place is where they... Uh, Taylor Olin. had Olin's, yeah. Okay, and is this where Taylor had his jewelry store? That's right. And the liquor store was there too. Afterwards? That's, that's his Olin's what? This was Olin's frame shop. Yeah, well, that's, that's Gendison's store, yeah. That was Gendison's? That's right. After the, it was Taylor's? Did he, Taylor sell to Gendison? Taylor sold to Gendison. That was a clothing store, right? Uh, uh, then Gendison sold to... Olin? The liquor people. Oh, okay. What liquor? Uh, it ran a drugstore there. Drugstore and liquor store. Okay. But in the liquor... Oh, we're talking about this building right here. That's right. That's Dennis. Now, that, before that was... It was a... Uh, uh, Marino's. No, no. I'm talking about years ago. Okay. Wasn't bakery shop had a bakery in there. Was it Norris Bakery? Mm -hmm. Born out used to have a horse and wagon. Then Johnson's Drug Store was that where the economy was? Okay, wait a minute. Now, um, okay, you think this was the economy store? That's the economy store. Uh, where was we? This is this is Dennison's. Right. Uh huh. Now, Next was the economy store. Okay. Now they took in a couple of buildings in there. Right. And one of them was Johnson's? One of them was Johnson's. And the little... Johnson's Drug Store. Uh, that's right. Uh-huh. Okay. Now the next one was... Uh, now these are the... Wait a minute. These are the ones that burned in 1915 that's and right. were rebuilt. That's right. Burned when? What year? 1915. And they were rebuilt and then Kaplan... No. I mean Taylor built up here uh, in the 20s. Now, did, did, did that whole corner burn out? It, it, the whole corner burned. Five buildings burned according to Mr. Shipley's history of the fire department. And the CMP telephone, were they here? The CMP telephone was here in one of these buildings. Uh -huh. And uh, the grocery store was in the other. How about the Patapsco drug store? Patapsco drug store come out after, after. After what? After. Uh, when Ben Miller had to sell out down our or account, they had whiskey, and he couldn't. Ben Miller was clever to court. Oh, okay. They appointed him clever to court, so he sold out to Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons, right? Okay. And Fitzsimmons 
couldn't sell whiskey with a drugstore, so he moved up in here. Fitzsimmons and, uh, I can't tell. Then he moved from there up on the highway. Fitzsimmons uh -huh. had a brother, a partner. Okay, so this, this was CMP Telephone. This was Patapsco Pharmacy, but what was it before Patapsco? It was a grocery store. It was a grocery. They had uh, A&P in there, and it seemed to be like a post office running in there at one time, in one of them. Uh, then, then up here is where the post office was when it burned out. It burned out on that corner. Okay, now the corner, no, that was up here. This yeah, is but the corner didn't burn out. Not all the way up. No, um, the German Orange building didn't burn Right, around the corner here. Yeah. Uh, right? German Orange, is this the corner? It said, it, someone yeah, said that, that this was... That used to be a Malone's Tavern. Tavern, right, yeah. Then uh, this building was built in there after by some Greek. I don't know who built that building. I don't know. Somebody said this was Al Kern's barbershop at one time. Al Kern. 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 Uh, uh, well, uh, well, where did they just move in there? Uh, he had a building that... Uh, this is a new building. That's a new building. There's a new building in there. Okay. And he had a little... He moved down where I told you down. Mm-hmm. And he had a bicycle shop. He had a... Up here? Yeah. Uh, had a barber shop and a bicycle shop. Barber and Bicycle, that's Al Kern. I'll tell you the name of that. Right. Now that's from Lone's Tavern, mm -hmm. whiskey store, and when Taylor built, he bought this building. Okay. And this building was built by a brick in between there, where the barber shop was. Yeah. And the next place on that street. That was this one. Is that built as part of the automobile? No, that was Thomas Crook's grocery store, is that right? That's when they remodeled this and put that in there, in that building. Yeah. And it became the Acme? That's right. Okay. And then there was... Well, then for Taylor, Crook's store. That's right. it. That's that was this one. That building in there okay. next to the... Now, now this is... Taylor's. Now, was this automobile part that? Was, that was Paul uh, Ford. No, there was a uh, Bud Ridgely's. Bud Ridgely first. Bud Ridgely's drinks. They made a silver, and he had a pool room in there. Bud Ridgely's. What was it? Bud, Bud Ridgely owned this. Building. Okay. And my father had a mortgage on it. He sold it, and Frank Paulette said it was rent this building for his. Uh, what did Bud Ridgely do with it? He, he had a, a bad soft drink. Soft drinks? Mm -hmm. Okay. But they had a, many days, they had a pool table and they chopped crap and that kind of yeah. stuff. I'm talking about years and years ago. Okay. Though. Was it yeah. this building or was it a different yeah, that, building? That, when that, it was this, this building here, uh -huh. not, not the front, but it was a building stood there. Uh -huh. Now this building here, Pop had a mortgage on it and it sold it. Motor sale, and Frank Barlett was masoned it. And Bob, Frank said, I'll never pay you, I'll never be able to pay you, Mr. Maxwell, I have to move out. He said, Let me tell you something, you can go in there, stay in there, and two years you're going to have to pay me nothing. In five years' time, he had it paid off and put this front in and built this building over here. Is that right? Frank uh, Barlett, and then he, him and his brothers went together. Okay, then uh, after what while they had this building, it was a Dodge in Plymouth? Th this was a showroom. Uh -huh. This was a... But did they build that new then? Uh, Parlettes built Parlette this building? Built that, built, that building. built this frame building where the forest uh, Wetzel's is today? Yeah, I, and I, I lived up over there at one time. You made an apartment up over top of it. So you remember when that was built? That was built before 1937, because I moved down in 37. Okay, but it, you think it was new then? Because the history, something says that Mr. Eckert made soda water at a building along in here. That's that was back in here. Terrible. Is that gone? Did they tear well, that down or is well, it going back? That building tore up. We built that building as a garage. Okay. Then they built one in back. It's still got a garage in back where they had the paint shop. Back here. Back in back of the Yeah, there's a, they work on cars back there. Yeah, that's right. That used to be a paint shop back there. 
Well, let's build that too. So, um, hey, put this one in you had a Ford dealer and a Dodge dealer both no, here? No, no. Ford. This was just a showroom for the Ford. For the Fords. They didn't have any showroom. Well, where did Harry Parlett have his Dodge in Plymouth? They were on Route 40. 40 down here. They were never down here. The, the Nixon place. But yeah. he was Harry Parlett uh -huh. and Frank Parlett. And Ralph Paulette was in partners down here. Okay. During the war, Ralph went to, uh, Harry went down to shipyard to work. I, I mean, see. not Harry, uh, Frank. And uh, Harry, uh, Harry come down and went in business with him, him and his brother wanted while he was in. And after the war was over, they all moved on the corner. He sold this Major building Motors. to Taylor. Uh -huh. And at Major Motors, they bought that. And Harry and Frank and Ralph was in business together. Right now, did they use this little building too, the Parlettes? See, this is all along there. Was yeah, that was that was that was a, all that was a little We only had one car at one time. Right. But when he built this other building, uh -huh. he closed that all into one building. Okay. Then Taylor didn't buy it. Phillips bought it. Okay. Okay. I don't want to make you late for your wife's appointment. Oh, she'll call. Okay. That's uh. Now we're up at the corner. Right. Where, oh. the, where the gas station is. But it says in there, the gas station bought in 19-something. But I, I don't know when it was bought because I hold coal there in 1925. Okay, that's what, um. That's the corner of Plummy Road. Right, and I, let's see. Um. Store. Right store. here. Store. Yeah. Right. I wanted to ask you something here about Stewart's store. Um, I wanted to also ask you about that. You recognize oh, that? Yeah. What was that? That's a good Green Cross for that. That's a okay. Was that the Green Cross or is that Charlie Miller's new, new Miller uh, Chevrolet? This, this is Green Cross for Back off the alley back uh, there? Back on the alley. Okay. I didn't, it looks like a brand new showroom. I wondered if that could be where the Times building was. No, he didn't build that in later years. Yeah, oh, that's true. That's true. This is an old model. Yeah. Right, okay. This is the Green Cross. It, that's what I'm it's sure like. That, that, yeah, that okay, was. now this is a picture that says it was James Stewart's store. grocery store. That's right. Now, did that jut out here? It come out, right? Road come out along in front of Malone's Tavern. Yeah. It was right. only about 15 foot wide. Right. And this this store stood right on the corner, right. all the way on the corner. And then here on this one, the gas station's here, but they did right. tear this whole they thing tore down. The whole thing down, and it was next to the next building was a lunch room. Lily's lunch room. Was that this one? Is this what it looked like? People's grocery store. This was a fire in 1940. See, then they built these in here. Uh, no, I'm, after 1940. I'm talking about before he come up there. Where the, where the, where the uh, movies is now. Right, that's this. That was a, that, that was a, a restaurant and a pool upstairs. Before it was People's Store. I don't know how many people's store ever did it. Well, see, this is a photograph from 1940. And here's the church, see. And then here's the new building after this fire. That one of them don't have. Right. But, uh, he, but you're he, saying it was Lily's lunchroom before it was. He this was Lily's lunchroom, and this was, uh, next door to it was at uh, Mayfield, wasn't it? Harness shop? Was it Mayfield's Harness? Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, upstairs, I made my mm -hmm. Upstairs was a Chinese restaurant. Or and laundry. A Chinese laundry. Right. Was and it upstairs? Downstairs and he lived upstairs. I don't know if it was long as 
He said, the damager brought me out. The damager brought me out. Is that what the other... Uh, <laughs> he come running down the street. <laughs> the, that's what the uh, yeah. Mr. Wong said? Pe people, drove, people stole what the, they remembered us from. And, and Molly mm -hmm. uh, had a restaurant there and a pool room upstairs. And then people's store came in and remodeled yeah, that's right, that's right. it. And then they burned out. That, they burned but you're out. saying the, the laundry was upstairs and the harness shop was downstairs? No, the harness shop was where the church is. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Ch Chandler had his business downstairs, but he lived upstairs okay. in one room. Okay, and then stewards jutted out here into the street and they, it was torn down. That's right. Okay. And then the gas hey, station. How you got there on that grocery car? Sam Hage's grocery. Right. These are out of the Bicentennial Journal. I'm not sure what the dates of some of these were. I don't remember when he delivered all the groceries by. By what, horse and buggy? Yeah. Okay, well this must have been a good sized store. Was it, did they live above it? Steward? Who? who? Did Steward live above his grocery store? Yeah, he lived upstairs. And then uh, they tore that down, and when did they, they build the grocery they sold store? It to the state road, and they went up and bought where the Prince Restaurant is. And started a speakeasy up there. <laughs> Happy on. Right. And then, uh, when was the gas station built? Before 1925. Before 1925. Yeah. I got, I'd hauled delivered coal there in 1925. To the gas station? To the gas station. What, to heat the building? Heat, heat the building. A little offices there. Yeah. Okay, then this was a church, yeah. always a church that you, or after Mayfield's it was. That was a Mayfield's. Harness. We have that in here. Okay. Mayfield's. Uh, Harness. Harness and what's the name? Next, next place. Now we're getting up there. Now this yeah. was Higginbotham. That Higginbotham bought Fagler out. Well, did Fagler have a. Um, uh, they had a candy store and a heat remodel that whole thing. Okay, he remodeled it, or did he build a new one? Built a new one. I'll tell you, I think. Mean, he left the back end and built the front all in. I know that. I think the back's still in there. Okay, candy store. Figler had had a candy store there. Yeah, a uh, confectionery store. They call them nowadays. Right. We call them candy shops. Right. Were there two shops or just one? There was uh, just one shop, there and he owned it. Okay. And the next place was a plumbing supply. Where? Um, Stigler. Stingless place. Okay, was this Butte, Butte Fish earlier? Butte Fish. Uh huh. This is Hickenbottom. Right. This is Butte Fishes. Okay. And this was a plumbing shop. Stingless plumbing shop. Yeah. Now the next is Yates' store. See this picture? That's it says Butte Fish. That's Butte Fish. And that says Wallenhorst. And it looks like Butte Fish is over here. Could they have changed? No, they could have been. They had changed. A, yeah, let me tell you, they had a, a, a Wallen Horse. What kind of store did Wallen Horse have? Wallen Horse had a dress shop that burned out in that road down there on uh, uh, Charles Wallen Horse. Uh huh. That burned out down at where Taylor's is. Where Mexico. Taylor's is today? No, where Taylor, next building to it. Okay. He had that store in the next building to the Taylor's. Then he went bankrupt, but he might have been up here with him. Well, well Mike, this had been down there. See, I'm not sure what where this picture was, because whether this is this building, it looks like this front. See, doesn't it look like that? But Beautifish also was down at the other end of the street earlier, from what? Not from, in my time. No, Beautifish was always right there right across here. from Florida. Yeah, because right. Mr. Shipley said that people would call Beautifish when there was a fire, and he would go over and ring the bell. Yeah. So, no. but that picture looks like this, but it shows no. him. Yeah, no, Hickenbottom got Beautifish's building, didn't it? I don't think so. Well, let's see, it said this was the Beautifish building. They called it the German building. And the Crystal Restaurant was in this building, is that right? I don't remember the restaurant. You don't remember that's that? That's in late early yeah. years, late okay. years. But uh, Beauty Fish had part of Mark had an anti uh, used furniture store, and one of us when they burned out, he might have come up here and 
and, okay. and rent a part of this building. And then you say there was a plumbing store? Plumbing in one of these? A plumbing store was above it. Between oh. Yates and between Hickenbones and Yates. It's not the big